properties. The properties first is closure property. So for the closure property, what we'll do? 2 into 3 is 6. Minus 2 into minus 3 is also 6. Minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. It means whatever the integer we multiply, we get an integer. It means we can say that closure property is followed. So closure property by the integers on the multiplication is followed. So the thing we can say is integer multiplied by integer also an integer. This is the closure thing. What about the commutativity? So minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. 3 into minus 2, it is also minus 6. 5 into minus 10 is equals to 50 of minus and minus 10 into 5 is equals to minus 50. It means whatever the order of the multiplication we get the answer. So we can say that commutativity is followed by the multiplication of integers. After this, we can talk about associativity. For this associativity, minus 3 multiplication 5 is multiplied by 2. This is the multiplication we need to do. So, if we do this first 2, we multiply the first 2 and then by last. It is 15 of minus multiplied by 2, it means minus 30. If we do this multiplication in the another way, means minus 3 is multiplied by 5 and 2 minus 3 into 10 minus 30. Minus 30 and this also minus 30. So we can say that associativity is also followed by the multiplications. So A into B into C is equals to A into B into C. This is the associativity property. Multiplicative identity. Yes, we have a multiplicative identity for every type of number that is 1. Because if 1 is multiplied by any number, you will have the same number again. If you multiply it by minus a, you will have a minus a again. So, there is the existence of multiplicative identity for the integers. Then we have distributive property. For the distributive property, it says that 